So for today's video is go. I'm eating in my doggos. Anyway, today's video is going to be a lip swatch, and ang uh, feature ko ay from Fashion 21. Ito yung kanilang lip blush, and I believe matagal na tungo na launch para mga January pa pero parang hindi ako personally hindi ko siya masadyo na hikita online. So, ito ibibida natin today. So, we're going to do a lip swatch. Pwede daw to sa cheeks and sa lips. So, that's good. Kasi sumabay na sila sa trend ng mga products na alam mo yun. 3-in-1, 2-in-1, multi-purpose, yada yada. So, I have 5 shades and it retails for 100 99 pesos each. So, ito ang packaging. Sorry, ito kasi um, na-swatch ko na siya. Nagamit ko na siya one day isang araw. So, ito packaging. Super simple lang. Kamukha ng mga permanent jumbo pencils nila for the lips. Meron na kanina. Meron na kong dalawang shades noon. Kaya lang hindi ko na nagawa ng wear test. Pero it's one of the a very, very long-lasting lipstick. Kind of drying. But let me know if you want me to review that. Yung kanilang matte Permanent lipstick, if I'm not mistaken, that's the title. Itang galing kamo na yung mga um, seal. So, first shade I'm going to swatch is called Red Glaze, but it doesn't look like red. <laughs> so, it's a swatch kamo na sa arms ko. So, this is Red Glaze. So this is Red Glaze and it's a very, very simple, it's a very, very simple blue tone pink color. Blue tone nga ba? Hmm, sort of. Parang eh. And if you're going to use it as a blush, eto nakikinita ko na, na magiging ano to. Ah, uh, ay. Cutie pie as a blush. Ayan o, just a hint of pink on your cheeks. Diba? So this is a very good, uh, what you call this, shade for everyday wear, and it's very lightweight. Tama nga yung description nila. Um, it's blendable, buttery, soft texture, and payoff looks natural and feels absolutely lightweight. And I do agree, dun sa kanilang um, description na yon because it is lightweight. Hindi siya drying, hindi siya tight. Hindi rin siya tacky. I, I love the I love the feel on the lips. It actually reminds me of yung uh, powder matte lipsticks ng Maybelline. So if you want a kapris lang bato, the Maybelline powder matte. This is one ninety nine. I don't I'm not sure about the price of the Maybelline powder mattes nowadays. But if you want an affordable lipstick, actually para lang siyang lipstick in a jumbo pencil, in a I think uh, in a better uh, form. Kasi yung ganitong patules, mas madaling i-shape, uh, yung i-outline yung lips mo. So, I love yung ganitong uh, jumbo pencil type. So, yeah. This is Red Glaze. Ayan. Meron pa akong dalawang swatch for the cheeks and then the arm swatch. Next shade is called Wine Berry. What? Parang... Uh, it's sort it's very close to red glaze but ang pagkaiba pinagkaiba nila uh, si wineberry is much warmer and a little bit deeper pero alam mo yung biglang tingin parang magkamukha pero ayan a little close up mas deeper si uh, wineberry So this is Wineberry and oh nga medyo just tiny bit deeper lang siya. Okay, red glaze. So uh, I don't think you have to get both. Parang medyo peachy kasi to. Ito talagang pink. And this is what it looks like as a blush. How lang din siya ng red glaze. Alam mo yun, kapag ka na blend out, it's going to give you like a pinkish red flush on your cheeks. Pero alin na mas gusto ko sa dalawa? I think I like the Wineberry better. Parang mas mahi-cater din niya yung mga, uh, ano tawag dito, medium skin tone. For the morena, I'm not sure kasi it has a tendency to be a little bit bright. Ugh, namimiss ko na si DJ Nikki Morena, yung partner ko, for a couple of videos na in lip swatching. Kaya lang tayo ay naka-quarantine, so I can't do it. So yeah guys, this is Wineberry. Another shade for everyday actually. 
Here we have ito, feeling ko medyo iba to. And this is called the Charm Blossom. So, on swatch. Ooh! So, I think si Charm Blossom. It's like a guava or papaya shade. Na medyo deep. It's perfect for summer. Kung gusto mo, alam mo, mag-lipstick pero mainit. Parang ang tsaka naman mag-dark red. So, you can go for this one. So this is Charm Blossom. At the difference niya tun sa first two shades. And this is what it looks like as a blush. Hindi ko sure kung nakita nyo kung may point pa ba yung blush. Pero yung first two shades is just gonna give you a pinkish, a little bit of red hint of color. Pero eto, this is going to give you a tomato. A light tomato blush shade. And okay nga siya kapag ka may inik yung panahon, but you wanna put makeup on, ganyan ganyan. And it's, it looks fresh. Oo, oh, nakaka-brighten up lang siya ng ano, ng aura. Ganun. So, this is Charm Blossom. <laughs> Second to the last shade is called Apple Jam. So, this is Apple Jam. And it is a pretty, pretty deep mauve pink color. <laughs> Guys, I describe it on the So, Fashion 21, I'm not sure if I'm describing it correctly, but that's what I see. And this one, I think this is a shade na alam mo yun, perfect pang nighttime as well. Atong si Apple Jam, kahit anong skin tone mahikater nito because it's deep. It's so nice. I like it. Pero as a blush, medyo matinding shade to, guys. So, kung gagamitin nyo to as a blush, you have to be uh, a bit careful with it. But I like it. It's really nice. So again, this is Apple Jam. Shade, I do believe this is darkest. It's called Midsummer. Oh. So this is Midsummer and Sha I Parang. It's a brown red shade. Alright guys, so this is Midsummer and oh, I love it so much. I swear it's such a very sexy red brown shade. And I also love it as a blush because it's not red, it's not pink, but my hint of a little Brown red. <laughs> so it's going to be unique as a blush. But on the lips, it's so nice. I recommend that you get this shade. Midsummer. Alright guys, so those are the five shades of Fashion 21 uh, lip blush. Do I recommend it? Okay, here are the pros and the cons. The pros is it's very affordable. Just 1,000. <laughs> Pros is it's very affordable, 199 pesos. It's dual na on the lips, on the cheeks, and perhaps on the eyes as well. It is lightweight, it's comfortable on the lips, and lion kahit ilang beses kong iganyan ganyan, hindi siya mamumuo, hindi siya magda dry or whatsoever. But it's fair to say na it's a good lip and cheek product. Now, yung kon naman niya, na, um, it's not really a con, but you know. Para lang siyang lipstick talaga. So pagkakain ka, pag iinom ka, mag-transfer siya, and eventually it's going to fade away. It's not kiss-proof, waterproof, or food-proof. It's just like a lipstick, which is not really a con. Kasi it's marketed as, you know, a lipstick. Ish. So yeah, those are my thoughts about the Fashion 21 lip blush, and I hope you enjoy kayo sa lip swatch, and ano ba mga colors na recommend ko? Um, I like all the colors except for the first one because it's too bright or too light for me. Pero etong apat ato, I love them. I can use them to different uh, occasions. So that's it for today's video, guys. Follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter at mor one zero one nine baya. And then yung Facebook ko, type nyo lang DJ Bea. Kung nagtataka kayo, bakit DJ Bea? Kasi po, I'm a radio personality sa MOR 101.9. Eh, at etong YouTube channel ko, ang aking, you know, uh, another side of me. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!